Bienvenidos. Vamos a hacer una fiesta de tapas. Um, this is probably my, the, my favorite part of this segment, because I'm going to teach you how to make tapas with the ingredients that you have on this cutting board, and that's it. So, which I really, really like. The method that I'm going to teach you is called montaditos, which is basically we're putting toasted bread, and then we're putting the whatever it is that we're going to be serving to your guests. This particular way of serving food, I absolutely love. Not only that your guests and your family and your, your friends are going to come to your house, and then you're going to pick whatever they want to. So they become ultimately the chefs because they're the ones that decide, I want membrillo with uh, uh, chorizo or jamón serrano with strawberries. They're the ones that decide and, and ultimately makes the experience so much better. What I'm going to teach you is with the ingredients that we have here, I'm going to teach you how to make pinchos, montaditos, and small tapas for you to enjoy it and your family and your guests. But I just want to talk very briefly about the products that I have here. So we have a manchego cheese here. We have different manchegos, uh, six months old, three months old, and a, and a 12, 12 year, uh, or a year old manchego. We talk about the rind. We talk about this is a six month old. You can see the manchego is a little firm. The smell is very, 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 um, it's almost sweet, but with hints of acidity in the back. I can, I can almost taste it. As, as, as I'm smelling it, my, my mouth starts salivating with that acidity that happens through it, which is delicious. Then we have goat, broken goats. Another, it's a semi-soft cheese uh, made out of goat's milk. Drunken goats is called, like that in Spanish, called uh, cabravino, because the wheel of, of cheese basically is sunken. Is, I, I think it's, it's called sunken when you put something under a, a bath full of basically uh, red wine, and then you, they just keep moving it. I, I believe it's a couple months that they do that until the self uh, until the cheese gets a little hard. Then we have another goat cheese, a uh, beautiful goat cheese with a beautiful rind, uh, different method of of the cabra vino. Once again, you smell the cheeses, and that's one of the most important parts of when you're buying a cheese. Is not only the way they look, or the description that you're looking, or the type of animal where the milk has come from. Smell them before you taste them. And that's how you get to see, okay, what are the notes that I, that I get from here? Here, I get like very strong notes of goat and it's almost like, I don't want to, I don't want to say, it's like even between a lemon and an, an orange type of smell, uh, which I think it will go delicious with fruits, uh, roasted figs, uh, perhaps even putting it not just with honey, but with dulce leche would go very well on bread or on this beautiful, this another product that I love. Uh, tortas de oliva. Um, this is for my Canadian fellows. Uh, this is sort of like a, a upgrade version of a, a beaver tail, <laughs> which is delicious. It's basically a. Let me just open one for you to see. It's a wafer made of olive oil. There's a bit of uh, sugar and uh, anise as well. This even though it's not necessarily served all the time with pure meats, I absolutely adore because of the sweetness and it, is, it, it complements very well with the saltiness of the jamón serrano or the chorizo and, or some of the membrillo with this is incredible and some of the cheeses as well. It's a delicious uh, thing to have. And once again, it's very beautiful to put on display for your guests, right? Uh, the other cheeses that we have, of course, we talk about Iberico, which is the three cheeses. And the manchego, which is the 12 year old. Here, this is another uh, spoonia created this uh, um, edition of tapas. Uh, we basically, everything is pre sliced for you, premium quality that could be served on its own or could be served on top of something, right? And that's what I'm about to show you. Okay, so for the first tapa, and this is all about what you see, right? So I'm, I'm looking at the uh, I'm looking at the drunken goat here. I'm going to cut a little bit of the drunken goat piece here. And I'm just going to put it on one of my baguettes, or one of my uh, toasted, previously toasted uh, uh, baguettes. This is membrillo. Membrillo is another wonderful dish that comes from Spain. You can see here, take a look at this beauty. So this is membrillo. It's, uh, in English, it's called queens. Uh, or queen space is basically queens that has is a fruit that has been cooked with sugar, um, wine, and and water for an extended period of time. 
So uh, Queens in, uh, naturally has a lot of pectin. So therefore, it becomes like um, almost like a pate, if you may say, but it's sweet. But here, I'm just going to put maybe, I'm just going to cut this into two little triangles because I want you to enjoy this into two bites, right? The rest of it, I'm just going to put it in so people can just grab it and enjoy it. I'm going to put a couple of these skewers right here, one skewer right here. The next one I'm going to show you, so we have beautiful olives, the olives, the aromatic olives that we did the, on the previous videos. I'm just going to add one olive. I'm going to add jamón serrano, which is delicious. Look at this. It's just look how beautiful. Now, you really want to taste jamón serrano. I'm going to show you how you do it. You put your hands in. You warm the jamón in between your hands. You And then the first part, you smell the perfume of your hands, okay? So you do the same thing with jamón again. So the first one. The smell is incredible. Now everything is activated. My aroma, my sense of smell already perceives that uh, saltiness and brightness that comes from the jamón. I almost get like a bit of nutmeg-like flavors. I don't know if it's on the fat part of it or a bit of a cinnamon type of cloves almost, like very uh, festive almost. That, and of course, it's delicious. And then because your hands smell like jamón, you don't need more perfume or cologne, right? Well, anyways, so I ate the tapa, <laughs> which it often happens, so don't worry about it. Jamón serrano, olives. I'm going to skew them into little pinches like these. I get another one. Maybe just another olive. And then I have a beautiful, beautiful tapa here. And then what else do we have? We have uh, another goat's cheese here, which I'm going to cut in half, just a little square or triangle rather. And I have figs, which are delicious. I'm just going to cut them. I'm just going to make a little incision here just to create a little opening. I'm going to press them down. I'm going to add my goat cheese inside, my so semi-soft uh, goat cheese. And then I'm going to skewer that just so it keeps it in place. Now, this particular one, I'm going to put it on the bread, but I'm going to throw it in the oven for just a second because I want my cheese to melt just a little bit or so lightly. Put them right here. I don't even need to turn the oven on, just a little bit of heat. But we wait for the last one. We're gonna do for the last one, we're gonna do strawberry. So previously I made for you a beautiful tomato, uh, tomato con cassé with onions, a bit of oregano, basil, and al alberquina olive oil, which is already delicious a bit of maldon salt. I want you guys to look at the colors and the way. I mean, this, this smells delicious. I could, as I was sniffing this, I got the aroma of the manchego and the goat. Honestly, I wish you guys were here to, I mean, you guys are here as well, but not presently. I'm gonna put a bit of this, look at this. Little bit of beautiful, um, this is a, Salami style uh, chorizo. I'm going to fold it in like that. Once again, I'm just going to skewer this. So I just skewer the first. And you put them in like this. And then I'm going to go for my drunken goat. Sorry, for my goat cheese. And then that's it. So. In less than 10 minutes, I'm going to put a bit of uh, honey onto this. In less than 10 minutes, we created four tapas. We displayed beautiful jamón cheeses. And of course, uh, we haven't done anything with the torta, which we're going to do right now. A little bit of torta here. I'm just going to move a bit. My display is getting short. Jamón Serrano. 
with uh, anise is going to be very, very nice. As I said, I, I got some hints of like almost uh, cloves on the jamón, which reminds me almost, and I think it's mostly in my, in my mind, it reminds me of this sort of like a uh, full type of uh, flavor too. A bit of uh, strawberry, just put it in like that, on top of my torta de aceite. A little bit of olive oil. And voila, you got five delicious tapas and an incredibly array of, of, of beautiful food. Membrillo, gold cheese, uh, torta Inés. Uh, we have um, um, salami uh, chorizo style. We have jamón serrano. We have these other type of chorizos that are delicious as well. They're cured. Uh, you can serve them on its own. Uh, we can serve them with, uh, just put a bunch of skewers around here and have fun. I wish you guys could all come here and just enjoy this with me. I have a lot of food for. <laughs> I'm going to get fat. <laughs>